Beauty and the Beast. Chapter Three: The Secret of a Blue Castle. The merchant, greatly disappointed, started walking wearily back to his shack. He just wanted to return to his children as soon as possible. Knowing a few shortcuts, he decided to take the windy road through the woods. As his horse struggled up a mountain, a terrible snowstorm began. The horse grew anxious by the changing weather and wouldn't budge. To take shelter, the merchant crouched near a tree all night. By morning, the mountain was covered with snow. It's freezing. Where am I? Rose will be worried about me. What do I do? The merchant was lost. He just kept walking forward. The road was icy, and he kept slipping and falling. Then he arrived at an unexpected sight. Why, aren't these orange trees? Why is it so warm here? Like it's spring. Something's odd here. He stumbled upon a narrow path between the orange trees. At the end of the path stood a castle with a blue roof. Wow! Look at the size of a castle. I had no idea there was such a thing around here. The merchant carefully climbed up the crystal stairs. He looked around, but no one was there. He looked at all the different rooms and finally came to a small, cozy room. He felt his tiredness from the long night catch up to him. <sighs> I feel exhausted. It's strange that no one's here in this big castle. I'll just rest a bit and try to find the owner again. Sitting on the sofa next to the warm fireplace, the merchant fell into a deep sleep. He woke up and was startled by what he saw. Next to the hearth was a table laden with food. This wasn't here before. Who left this here? It looks so good and tasty. Freshly baked bread, cake, and all kinds of amazing dishes had been neatly prepared. The merchant ate and ate. He was famished. Feeling revived, he went in search of the owner, but found no one. Anyone, Anyone here? here? Hello? Hello? Could someone, Could help, someone me, help me, please? He shouted. His voice echoed, but no human presence was to be found. He saw nothing but gorgeous chandeliers hanging down. And rooms full of gold and precious stones. I have traveled the world and saw some amazing precious stones, but nothing like what's here. Perhaps someone left this here for me. Why don't I take some for the kids? He was excited. He felt energized. He grabbed some food off the table and fell to his horse. He had happy thoughts returning home. With precious stones. Just when he came around the stable to find a saddle for the horse, he was stopped by the smell of flowers. Why, it's roses. They smell so lovely. Along the path to the stable, there was a fence laced with sweet roses. There wasn't a single withered rose. They were all red and beautiful. The merchant thought of his promise to Rose. Rose will be happy to get this rose. Let me look for the prettiest one. Just when he broke off a rose, he heard the most horrifying sound.
Beauty and the Beast. Casting. Narrator one. Rina Kwan. Narrator two. Emma Kim. Father. David Yu. Rose one. Rina Kwan. Rose two. Emma Kim. Music. Doctor Lee. Present by. 2022 Fall Semester Jesus Podcast Club.